Hi friends! I'm so excited today. I have another craft for you. I actually have two crafts for you. If you know me, I love pumpkins. You should know I love pumpkins. And we already did one wreath. That was so cute. But I could not decide between this pumpkin and between canned pumpkins. So we're going to do both. So I've done some prep work, so hopefully I won't kill your time today. But this is the first one we're going to do. Isn't it cute? It's so simple. And we are doing it from these duck, what are these? Dryer ducks. This is a five foot one. Uh, so you need to have two and a half feet of this stuff so we can have two pumpkins out of this. Uh, isn't that awesome? All right, this first one I did, uh, it, I didn't cut it in half. I did not do like two and a half feet. So it had, uh, I just had to stretch it a little bit, use a whole lot of glue to make that connect. So um, you really want to try to get like two and a half feet. So see how bendable that is? I am just going to take a pair of scissors and cut it in half. So this plasticky part, I mean plasticky part, this part that looks like aluminum foil, I don't know if it is or not, will trim down great, but it does have a little bit of wire, so you are going to need some wire cutters to get the wire itself to cut apart. So just snip it, just like that. Cut the rest of it with my scissors, and I have enough for two. This thing's pretty bendable, right? I got it at Walmart. You can get it anywhere. Uh, Lowe's Home Depot, something like that. But doesn't that look like a pumpkin when you put it together? Okay, some helpful hints. Um, always could use some helpful hints. These wiry parts are what you're pinching together. And once you pinch it, you'll figure that out. That's where... That's where we need to glue it. And hot glue will work, but uh, you need to have some really strong hot glue. This is hot glued. Um, we've got enough. There's not a lot of tension on it because it's two, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, two and a half feet. So it's not going to pull apart. But I would suggest using like E6000 uh, super glue. Even uh, that bonding glue you can get at the Dollar Tree, that will work in addition to your glue gun, in addition to that. The glue gun will help it uh, adhere fast, but this is stronger, and so the combination is what we're probably going to want to look for. And so you just put a little bit of this glue around the edge. Like so. Just dot it around. Yeah, had this guy for a while. And then add your glue gun. Glue. Just make sure you put it all the way around. So, see how I'm using both? Using both. Two is better than one today. And then you just push it together and hold it. And that's it. We're halfway finished with our pumpkin. So, uh, if you've got any gaps, just fill it in with your glue. But I don't have time for this today because we have so many pumpkins to make. So I did some ahead of time for you. So let me set this aside, let it dry. And so what you will want to do is have that wrapped around and then spray it the color that you want. My first one's white, but my second one is orange, pumpkin orange. This is what I used. I got it at 
uh, Lowe's. It's only like four dollars, three dollars, three or four dollars. And this is two coats, but you know me, I like things looking a little rustic, and so it's not solid. I have it thicker over here than over here. I'm thinking of putting it um, so I can see through it into the uh, aluminum a little bit. I want to make a brown one. I think they'll look so pretty. So I'm planning on making three. And so all I have that one will be brown. And then this one was white. This was also two coats. I just took it outside, put it on a cardboard and sprayed it and then flipped it over and let it dry. The stem is a piece of tree limb. So this one, you could push it right in. But I um, glued this one. This one fits right in. And then I just took off some greenery off of some flowers I had um, in my craft stash. And so what I do is I stick the leaf in first and then stick in my stem and there you go that's it you don't have to glue it if you don't want to if your stem is a little too thick or something and it's sitting more on top just use your glue gun put it right in there you can have your your leaves sticking straight out you can put them let them go down uh, if you have a tree outside you can actually use real leaves once they change their colors, right, you can use real leaves if you want. And then as they dry out and get real, you can just switch them out. Uh, it's whatever you want to do. And I know some people have storage uh, issues, right? So you're not sure about storage, um, how you're going to store this stuff together. If you don't want to glue it and make this more of a permanent thing, you can use, depending on how you're setting your, up your decoration, you can just uh, staple it together or uh, you can use like binder clips, but you'd have to arrange your, uh, you know, you'd have to arrange it so that you can't see that part. But because otherwise this is what you're going to have to store. But I'm making room for that because it's too cute. See how easy that was? Craft number one, pumpkin number one, pumpkin number two. Out of cans. These were like vegetable or soup cans. So cute. Look, here's two of them. I'm gonna make a whole family. I'm doing all different sizes. Here's one that I kept all orange. And then I just decorated it as I liked on top. So let me show you how that worked. Get a can, something you've eaten or whatever. Empty it out. Look. I've got it upside down. I just took the wrapper off and now I'm going to paint it. So I have a baby one. See, I told you I'm going to do all different sizes. And I am using chalk paint because I really, really like chalk paint. It works well for me. It um, covers great. Again, I'm going for the rustic look. So I do not want it to cover all the way. Uh, so I have just used one coat. So let me show you. We got a couple of techniques. If you go up and down, look how well that covers, but you can still see through to the tin. Go up and down over your ridges, and you're going to see some of the tin through that. Or aluminum or whatever this can's made of. Just like this. Stick my hand in here. Or if you want to get it more covered, go sideways. And this uh, chalk paint I got at Walmart, but you can get it at any craft store. And Walmart has cute little sizes like that, but the next size up is like this, and then they have this real big one. So I think um, this little one's under $2. And it doesn't take too long to paint. I can just pour straight on there. So that's how I do it. I lay it down on its... 
top here, technically. It's the bottom for my pumpkin. And do the top. And that's it. We're gonna let that dry. I do wanna show you a difference here. So this is chalk paint. Set that aside. I did one ahead of time on a bigger can so you can see what I'm doing. This is chalk paint. This is acrylic paint. Both the color pumpkin. And I don't know how well you can see that. Maybe you can zoom in. The chalk paint covers better. But it's whatever you happen to have. I had both, so I did one of each. It just has a different color to it, uh, but it's whichever way you want to do it. So now I have one to work with. I need a stem. So I have all of these sticks that I got from the yard. You might need a little clipper to clip them down to the size you want. But I have one here that I want to use. It's got a little moss on it already. The uh, only glue I'm using today for this craft will be my glue gun. I just set it up there. And then you can decorate it any way you want. You can do a bow. I've got some raffia. I'll probably continue with that because um, that's what I already have on here. On my others, and they're going to be working together. So I just grabbed some raffia out of here. Let's see if I can make me a little bow. Sometimes I go a little crazy with this stuff. So I did the bows a couple of different ways, so just play with it and see what you want to do. I got a little piece to tie off. But I did um, wrapped around and tied a bow, and that was a little bulky for me, but you can get you can do whatever you want to do. So I am just making so you just test it and see what works for you. I've just got like two little strands. I think I have two little strands. All right, start over. All right, I have two strands and I want four. I, you know, I don't need this much. So I'm wrapping it twice and just making a bow. Just folding it over on each other, just like this. See, not cute. I'm gonna cut my ends off anyway. Use another piece of raffia to tie it and then I'm gonna glue it on there. I have moss that I'm gonna use. Pick that up from the Dollar Tree. They have two different kinds. They have reindeer moss, never heard of that. It's green, neat. And then uh, they have Spanish moss. That's what I used on the other ones, so that's what I'll use on this one. All right, Ty, that's my problem here. Getting myself mixed up. You can also use jute. I love jute. There we go. Nope. All right, one more time. Come here, Ty. Use this one. There we go. See? Isn't that cute? And I put that on top. I think I'm going to put some, let's see, what do I want to put on here first? I'm going to put my moss on. This is my moss. So I am going to put some of that in the front. Just pulls out like this. Use my glue gun. Oh yeah, I got some leaves. Let's put some leaves on a couple because this is a big one. Let's see here. So I am just arranging whatever I think is looking good at the moment. Kind of like it going up a little bit. This is a big pumpkin. I think I'm going to put a couple on here. Put 
Nice. Need some more moss back here. Push up my leaves a little bit. There we go. Pull that in place. Get my bow. Position it. Put some extra glue. Put my bow right here on top, I think. A little bit on the stem. I'll turn around and show you here as soon as I get it going. Cute. Trying to get my glue to dry. See how it's coming out? It's coming out good. Get this spray. I want to trim down a little bit, I think. Isn't that cute? Gotta figure out how I want to do my, if I want to do white on here. Oh, let me show you this curly cute thing. This is wired jute. I haven't seen it before. It's new at Dollar Tree. You can also do this yourself out of regular jute and you just put it into glue. Look, you take something circular like this paintbrush. And you wrap it around. Ta da! You got a little wire curly cue. I think I'm gonna put that. Looks like a little vine that's dried. Put that right here. And then my leaf. So it sprigs out. Looks like a little vine that's dried up. Isn't that cute? And there you have it. Super easy. You might have this up at home. At least the can you should. So I'm gonna make a family of them. I'm gonna make my different sizes and display them together. Might do some stripes or something on this. I don't know, I gotta think about that. But that's it. Two different types of pumpkins today. Lots of fun, pretty easy. And that's it for today. I hope you had fun. I hope you want to try some at home. And if you do, I hope you share it with me. All right, that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye.